life was very short. Since Jesus Christ, yeah. Uh, and he said he'd come back. And considering that the world's got so much trouble yes. going on in it, I'm surprised if he's all that he says he was, as he hasn't come back before now. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, that's what I was waiting. They said a bit, the Bible said about a lot of bad things happening uh, before the Lord's return, doesn't it? So, uh, well, I mean, uh, the second coming, it, it, we, none of us know, do we? We won't know the time or the hour. It's the same as when we die, really. You don't really know, do you? Very, very, very little do we know about that. I mean, we've got to ask what faith is about, isn't it? Well, I know it's... Uh, yes, I know faith. Re 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 religious people talk about faith, but with so much trouble... Trouble with, in the with, world. With so much trouble on in the world... Yeah. If there's a wise one above, why does he tolerate it all continually? Oh, it's funny I like that, yeah. Well, it's because man's sin, isn't it? It's all about man's sin. Ma man is all full of sin, and we've, we've all gone so far away, like you say, about the 60s and all that. People went to church and they lived a god peering life, but now we've turned away, uh, and now we need to turn back, don't we? We need to repent. The thing is, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't turn I, away from God, turn away from sin. I don't like sin any more than you do. No, it's like all these people who... You know, they go their own way in life, and not the Lord's way, and all these problems like all these abortions, there's sex, there's drugs, there's affairs, all these things which are in modern day life, aren't they, all the time? But, but surely, if, if the world only had half the, um, the number of people living in it, they'd only be half as, half as much sin. Well, seven, or, or, or perhaps even less. Seven billioning over. Uh, yes, well, that's the thing, you see, more people. But not just that, though, is it? It's the, the, the more the more people that are, that are in existence, the more people there are to get in your way to make themselves a nuisance and this yeah, sort of no, thing. Yeah, you mean so? It's, and I think, yeah. I think, I think, the, the, obviously, the, the, the people who, who do the preaching won't won't are not likely to talk like that because mm. um, they've got a good job. It's all about, um, yeah, you're quite right, you know, the more and more temptation we have and challenges, the more we like the sin, isn't it? Because there's too many people and, yeah. and people get head up and more uh, more, uh, more angry about, you know, they can't get things done on time, they don't have any free time, there's more family concerns and pressures, there's more money problems and debt and all that. Uh, uh, if... Nice cup of tea. Well, what were you saying? You went to the Methodist church then for years, did you? No, oh, I've been to various Birmingham. places and yeah. uh, that. Uh, oh, if the Lord himself is too busy to come to see us, <laughs> I wonder he don't sound down one or two of his angels to, 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 well, to try probably to put does. the world right. That's what I But think. the thing is, Father, the thing of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Lord should, is all around us, in our hearts, isn't he? So, um, and the Lord's, the, the Christian is the only, only faith where we believe in a living God. Islam, you don't see it, and the others you see, it's all about idols, isn't it? Is it Hindu? There's some that do, there's some that don't, and there's others that are not sure either way. No, no. Well, that's the thing, you see. Oh, oh just a matter of fact. We I won't know until we get up there, and we must have faith until that day. Mm. Because, I mean, I've got family members I'd love to see again. You know, my mother died very suddenly. I, 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 I don't age. understand why, <laughs> apart from human beings, yeah. why, why animals uh, uh, don't stand the chance of a second life. Uh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I heard that. Yes, that's right. The animals don't, uh, don't go to heaven, do they? Yeah. I don't think so. Hmm. But also, there's no. Uh, there's I can't, although on one occasion, I do remember reading in the paper uh, the South Wolf Church, which is over the, about a mile or so over that way. It's a village. South Wolf. South Wolf. South Wolf is yeah, that's that way, isn't it? It's out of town. 
Anyway, so what was Martin Hudson's dream in John Wright? They had a sur- they, they had a service for for people who got pets. Yeah, that's and right. they oh, told yes. them they could bring the pets. Yeah, that, yeah, other yeah, churches do that. Yeah, they do it around Christmas and the cathedrals do it's, that. It's, yeah. a, it's a rare it was a rare event. Mm. But uh, bless however, him, bless I him. don't think I've had one since. Yeah. I was told because I go to fellowship meetings sometimes on a Tuesday uh, that there's no marriage in heaven. So your your wife would be your sister if you were married. You yeah, see? yeah. So and there's no it's... sexes either, apparently. So in other words, not man or women. So I don't know how, but we, but so we should love each other enough because, you know, they'll be our brothers and sisters in heaven. You see, that's the point. You see, all those who go to heaven, mm-hmm. but uh, th- those who don't have a, an unsure. Uh, eternal destiny, don't they? Because of their unbelief, or because they've got judgment, you see. Mm. Not only did I go to church, attend church, uh, I belonged to a, a club that, that was attached, a youth club mm. that was attached to the church. It was known mm. as the Anglican Young People's Association. Oh yes, yeah. <coughs> oh, I might. Well, I was on about Bradlord. I should have mentioned that he founded an organisation called the National Secular Society. In Northampton? Yeah. No, that, it was, he was an MP for Northampton, but it was a national association. Right. So he was an atheist, wasn't he, you say, in Northampton? He, he was, yes. Mm. And, and, um, in the 1960s? Oh, he, uh, in Victorian times, right. just a long time back. Yeah. So there, was, there was in the town... Um, mm. A hall of that of their own at one time, and it became. Mm. It eventually became the, the majestic cinema. Mm. So he was against Christianity, was it? When most people were Christian, weren't they? They had faith. Oh. We had a strong God-fearing. Uh, you know, we that, had, that, we, that we were very God-fearing yeah. in this country, and we, but, quite rightly so. And you know, we should have, still should be because of all these problems. You know, there's more and more problems, isn't there? You know, and we've that's, given we've given that's Islam that's so much freedom, haven't we? Muslims have been given too much freedom. Uh, to, to the detriment of our own life, yeah. our own faith. Yeah, I mean, you know, then they got so much freedom. And I don't agree with the, how some of the women are treated in their own countries, and they can only get more freedom. Freedom, but some of their husbands don't treat them very well, do they? You know, and you hear these horrible cases on the news about, you know. Uh, like that, you know, some, how they treat the, and the, you know, these, these mercy, honour killings, what they call it, which is no honour in killing, is it, your own daughter, because she goes off with a, uh, say, a westernised man or something, or she, she prefers to live in the culture of the country she's in, i.e. in this country, you know, freedom and all that, and she didn't want to be forced into arranged marriages or whatever else, or marry a, an Asian man, whatever it might be, you know, or, or a Muslim, you know, so, but see, that's the thing, see, so we should stand up for our faith, shouldn't we? Well, yeah, I admit, I admit that. And our beliefs, and, you know, because, I mean, other countries do, you know, you've got, you know, Catholic countries and all that, and Islamic countries where you can't talk to women, can you? I know people who have worked in Dubai, you don't speak to women out there. Don't they? No, no, there's all sorts of, you know, and you, you've known where cultural barriers exist, you know, when well, people go on a holiday and they end up on the beach and they're not allowed to, to, to you know, to... To, to dress, you know, in the Western way, you know, whatever, or sunbathe or something. Well, I don't suppose that, don't look and say that much good comes of it, even if they do, does it? No, it's all judgment. We, we allow things to happen here, don't we? We allow them, them to have freedom here. I mean, the French don't even want those, those headscarves, do they? The, is it the bark of where they are? They don't want the, the hijabs, what they call them. They ban, they ban them, whereas here everything is open and free. You know, but I mean, the French control Europe, the Germans do. They, they've got all the companies, they've taken our companies over, there's a lot going on. Which is why people want to leave Europe, that's another thing, you know. But we give everybody freedom, don't we? You know, whoever comes here. We've, we've always done it. The Chinese, got Chinese, Chinatown and all in Newcastle, you know, they've got one in Birmingham. You've got all these groups that, you know, is, Islamic people have and, you know, other people, their own languages, don't they? Lots of things. You don't get it in other countries. I mean, the French always want to keep their own identity, don't they? You know, their own villages, as, you know, as they are, and their own towns. They don't want all these people coming in. And they actually question why we allow it here. Now, I've lived with loads and loads of foreigners who've got questions. You know, they actually want to learn the English culture more, some of them, uh, and learn English, you know. So when did you go to the Methodist church? 
Oh, was that here as well? When I was, um, I had a relation that lived in a, a, yeah. a village outside Northampton. Relationship with Christ. <laughs> that's the way, isn't it? The way, oh, the truth and the life. Supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, that's the, what we're aiming at. And it's tough, it doesn't mean we don't have challenges. So, so Northampton was, I've been there once, you know. It's a nice place. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a nice place. Oh, thanks. Maybe. I like this at the town hall, the big old building, the town hall there. You saw the town hall. And I've been to Milton Keynes. Nice place. Milton Keynes, yeah. Yes, I it's not that far, is it, from there? Mm. Actually, there's nine other counties that surround Northamptonshire. Mm -hmm. I think I can name them. Buckingham, Bedford, Lincoln, Leicester, Rutland, Huntington, Warwick, Oxford and Cambridge. You mean towns or cities? The, the, the counties. Counties? Yeah. Or oh, Bedfordshire. Rutland's gone, isn't it? That's part of Leicestershire, isn't it? Rodland has gone. It was the smallest county in the country. Yes. Yeah. I was pretty they done absorbed that into whatever. Oh, I know they changed it. It's good from the 70s it was all changed but again, wasn't it? Then it's been changed in the 90s. It's late what 90s. these politicians are doing all the time. They keep on changing things, don't they? Mm. Well, North Yorkshire, is that? that that's, that's gone back to this old well, size, isn't it? Well, Yorkshire is our largest county. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's, other, there's other examples. Uh, Avon is gone. That's gone. Mm. And uh, yeah, so uh, so you've been here since 1957, have you? Uh, we left. I left the native town in 1938. Yeah. And, uh, you went to Birmingham. We, you... we went uh, to come. Went to Birmingham. Well, what what actually happened was. <laughs> Me, a friend, a business friend of my father's, mm. uh, helped him get established. Right. Uh, from, um, <coughs> and he and my mother eventually went, went uh, to live in Birmingham, right. a park called Borsal Heath, um, yeah. <coughs> which is the south side of the city. And, um, yeah. <coughs> But they didn't take me with them straight away. Mm. They asked my grandparents to look at me for the time being. Well, they got settled in. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about, um, so in, was it 1957 you came here with your parents? No, before the dog. 56, 57, was it? 57. 50, yeah, and then, so your mother was alive then? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, and very uh, much so. <laughs> you bought an auction on behalf of the family, uh, and you've been here ever since? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Now we're in, in Ombersley Street um, for the first ten year we we nine or ten year we were in this yeah. town. Oh, so you're talking about the late forties, are you? Mm. All right. And it's all 1960s. Did you did you modernise it in the 1960s? Did you with all the 1960s wallpaper? Is that what you did? Because it's all very 1960s. The house, isn't it? it still is. Yeah. Is it not? Yeah. The uh, the fireplace and the sideboards. Yeah. It's a period house, isn't it? I guess <laughs> it's so. It's an heirloom, yeah, it looks very interesting. Yeah, interesting place.